Hi everyone. Today I wanted to share an experience that was um, really interesting. As I was in my yoga class today at some point, um, as it frequently happens, my thoughts started invading my my being um, and it was a kind of scary thoughts and, and worrisome thoughts. And um, so the habitual way of kind of being in it was, um, you know, I was going into the pain and I was kind of being with pain, but there, there was a thought that reminded me to actually, instead of like bracing myself for that, for that feeling and, you know, and kind of going into tears that I felt were coming, I instead decided to, it was so very quick and that it wasn't even a thought out process, but I actually, as I was lying on the floor doing my posture, I actually decided to like feel as if I'm expanding my heart instead. And it just changed my whole somatic experience immediately. Like whatever, whatever feeling I was entertaining in the moment that was a response to my thoughts, right? Um, so my thoughts were stressful, scary. The feeling that my body was kind of getting into was a habitual way to respond to those kinds of feelings, which was, you know, kind of fearsome and worrisome. And what I did is kind of the opposite of that. And I just like felt like I was expanding my body and expanding my heart space. And immediately there were no more tears. Like it wasn't even, um, it was just such an interesting, basically what, now I'm trying to, you know, explain and understand it because, you know, what I experienced in my body was an incredible, um, it was so quick and obvious and right away. Um, it, it's, it's like when we say, don't resist, you know, I've been saying that too, like, don't resist the feelings, actually allow them to be here, um, face them. This is what, what, what I finally understood in my body today, um, that when I actually, like I actually turned and faced the whatever fear that was coming and I embraced it. But at the same time, I thought it was going to be so powerful and scary and like I kind of braced myself, but instead of bracing, my body opened and my heart opened and immediately it was just a completely different experience. So that was actually super powerful. I love these. Um, I love evidence to all the theory as it's happening in my body, because that to me is the biggest proof of how things work. It's not stuff that we read in a book. It's actually experimenting with all this stuff in our body. Um, and that was just incredibly powerful. It was such a different and such a quick shift in the energetic, uh, emotional state that, um, that it was just like, oh, a wow, immediately, like it changed everything. And the reason why it's so powerful and important besides the fact that we can live differently is I am just, you know, really interested this year to explore like I did in my posts and my email yesterday to really explore not living from reaction to my thoughts or reaction to outer events or circumstances, but rather create the whatever experience I want to live from within. So learning, that means learning to live with the reactions that in, invariably will come up, reactions to my own thoughts, reactions to circumstances, to other people, learning how to be with them, and then also knowing how to be with my own energetic state, with my own emotional state, so that I'm not constantly living out of the prison of reactivity. So that, you know, this is kind of what I am, calling self leadership right like how do i want to how do i want to be 
with whatever is happening right now. And actually right after yoga, I went to a grocery store and there was, you know, they charged me twice and I was like <gasps> getting really activated. Um, and then, you know, once that was over, I was able to really, you know, as an observer, I'm able to see like whose voice was that freaking out and flipping out and, and worried, you know? And again, seeing these mechanisms exposed like that uh, I can then choose how I want to be in this moment Do I want to be in reactivity and like you know I was very very mindful today of reminding myself how do I want to be right now you know do I want to be in this like looking for whose fault this is and what's gonna happen next or do I want to be just like grateful that I had enough money for them to charge me twice, you know, like finding things that that could be of a, po a positive thing, something um, to to change them, you know, to kind of live, free myself from living in reactivity and, and start living from um, self-leadership. That's what I wanted to share today. See you tomorrow.